Welcome to the November Newscast. I'm Molly Nook. And I'm Hunter Boyer. In November, our fall sports ended and our winter sports began. Let's start off this newscast with a winter sports hype video. With our fall sports ending, let's take a look at how our sports teams did this year. So far, two of our senior athletes, Sarah Richardson and Lucas Morgan, have committed to William Woods University for their sports, track, and cross country. This year, OHS started a new tradition called the Wall of Gratitude, where one person gets recognized for their support for each sport. Courtney Hinson was given the plaque for softball, and Tanya McClure has been given the plaque for volleyball.
We sent two members to the state cross country meet and Eileen Lindbergh received all state honors for the second consecutive season. Congrats, Eileen. We have a lot more than just sports going on at OHS. The Drama Club just performed Grease the Musical. With our very own Braden Kibler as Danny Zuko and Lauren Shields as Sandy. Veterans Day is also in November. OHS got back to their annual Veterans Day assembly. Check out this video made by Gavin Brandt. The guys are done playing football, but the girls got to take the field for the very first powder puff football game in a long time. Let's check out some highlights from the juniors and freshmen win. <laughs> Three minutes of kickoff. What's really different? My girls playing football. It's powder puff, baby. Here comes the home team, the Blitz Baddies. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.
here with Mackenzie, Hi. MVP of the game. What's so, up? How do you feel getting that pick six? It's all right. Like, what, any adrenaline kicking in? Yeah, or I could barely breathe, but it's fine. Damn. All right, that, that's it. It's a wrap. The intro to TV studio classes have been working on a school bus safety video for a contest. Let's check out their video. When the bus is stopped, a stop arm is extended. When the stop arm is extended, it is important that the drivers stop. If they do not stop, it endangers the students' safety and even their lives. When the stop sign is in use, drivers on both sides of the road are expected to stop about 25 to 30 feet away from the bus to ensure the safety of the children getting on and off the bus. You are required by law to stop at the stop sign. The punishment for breaking this law is a Class A demeanor and could result in a fine of up to $1,000, a year of imprisonment, and license suspension. In conclusion, stopping on the bus arm is extended can save many lives. So be smart and attentive and stop when the stop arm is extended. I am worth stopping for. OHS had their first semester blood drive in November. You can sign up next semester to give blood. Welcome to our November News Blast with TVA Cole. In the world of MLB, the season has come to the end with the Astros beating the Phillies 4-2 to two games. In football, the Eagles are the best team in the NFL with 11-1 record. Jimmy Garoppolo has suffered a season-ending injury to his foot but has a chance to come back around playoff time. And the struggling Rams are signing cut Panthers quarterback Baker Mayfield. The Blues went from their seven-game winning streak to a four-game losing streak. They need to get their act together because Ryan O'Reilly and Terry Sinko are in their contract years and we definitely do not want to lose them. In local news, Casey's making fast progress with their new building. The old bowling alley across from McDonald's has been teared down and a family dollar is being put there right now. Be on the lookout for a long-awaited Avatar movie. It will be hitting the theaters on December 16th and a reboot of Christmas Story has hit HBO Max and Amazon Prime. And with November, that means deer season, where 94,000 deer were harvested. Thank you to everyone that submitted their pictures. Let's take it over to Bryce Payne, interviewing some Owensville students at a successful season. This is Bryce Payne with TV Studio. I'm here with Jace Grinky, and I heard you had a pretty good hunt. So uh, let's hear a little story about it. Well, it was opening morning. My dad took me and... My mom packed those tissues in. We were in the deer stand, right, eating Nutty Buddies. So I wasn't in the stand for not even an hour. I'm getting cold, let's get ready to go. I was sitting in my stand on my phone. We hadn't seen a single thing, not even a squirrel. We seen a bug and a couple does. And then we saw the coyote hide in the bushes from a bobcat. And about 30 minutes later, he came in with a doe and a spider. We saw a buck. Saw the deer out my window. So I text my dad, I was like, can I shoot this deer? Um, he said stop when it was at the third tree. So I got my gun ready and there was two trees and he was heading between the two trees. Shot it. Shot him, he went about 15 feet. Second shot, smoke him, double lunged him. I, it dropped dead. I really just like being outdoors. TV studio was busy filming spotlights again this month. Let's take a look at those. What is my favorite rap artist? Rap artist? Post Malone. Or... For example, you seem to hold weapons on hand. Is there an explanation for this? Uh, I just love kids. Cross country, track, football, wrestling, NHS, and that's about it. Well, that's also a lot. supposed to be a compulsive eater, so I had to steal Brain's apple, and that scene kind of was honestly kind of scary because I was afraid Brain was going to pull the apple too hard and it was going to hurt, which it did like once or twice, but we, we got it down Alrighty. after that. What is your favorite thing here at OHS? 
my favorite thing well there's quite a few things that i enjoy um you know i i honestly uh the student body and i know and now for the most important question of this whole interview who is your favorite cousin mm. lacey lynn clark Decca took a trip to new york let's take a look at their trip So many things happen in our district this month that we can't make videos for all of them. But we'd like to make a highlight of them right here. And this month's Teacher of the Month is Danny Rice. Why, thank you. There we go. Thank you so much. This, this is upside down. I'm so very proud to be a part of this team and to be of service to the students and the community. Um, thankful for my job and all the loving friends and co-workers um, here in the faculty and staff and it's a pleasure to work for you. Thank you so much. really amazing. I mean, I think it's really validated all of the hard work that I've put in over the past few years in choir. Um, it's a really big honor. It really shows like how well prepared we've been with Mr. Tucker as our choir teacher this year, and it's honestly a big honor. To conclude this month's newscast, we'd like to show you the third installment of our breakout series. Finish the semester out strong, guys. What the frick just happened, bro? This doesn't make any sense. Dude, this denies all laws of, of everything. I'm so confused. I'm gonna go sit down. Okay, I mean, we got out here once, we can do it again! What do you mean? That was a room, this is a whole gym, it's huge! Well, maybe you guys focus a little bit better this time, we can get out a little bit faster! Don't be mad just because we're trying to have fun! Are you kidding me? What? I thought this was even fun! Oh, you come on! It's so, we were having this so much fun, fun. Oh he taught me how to gritty, he taught me how to gritty, I don't and understand. Why not take no, fun? We're stuck in a room! You're stuck in a gym, it's huge! It's huge! It's coming, 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 it's Okay, yeah, oh, okay. it's our fault. It's our fault. It's ours. It's us. Yeah, it's all. It's Is that Juan Taco Productions? What? What? Hey, Austin. Austin? Are you okay? Bro, you don't look so good. Did you guys, did you guys see that? It came off the bleacher. Austin? Austin? Are you okay? What is he saying? Uh... Po post, post, post on YouTube. We need to get this. We need to get this. No, you idiot. He's saying po pocket. Something in his pocket. What does that it's mean? Pocket. Pocket of emergency slip, Jim. What? 
the emergency Slim Jim? Dude eats like 7,000 calories a day and he hasn't had that yet. So we have this. Must get protein. Here you go, buddy. I ain't done. You guys heard that awesome montage music too? What? No, there was a ding sound when you made the shot. Oh, right, the, the ding sound. Okay, yeah, I totally wasn't picturing like a super cool uh, basketball montage of me or anything. Well, I guess that's our clue, right? Like that's what we have to do to get out of here? We all have to make a shot? No, 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 I can't play basketball. I am not touching that basketball, no way. Oh. It's easy, you know what? Brayden will show you how it's done, right Brayden? <laughs> Get out there, champ.
Now, was that so hard? Yes! <sighs> Guys, look! It's opening! Let's go! What if it takes us to another room? I mean, do you guys want to stay here and play basketball, or...? That's what I thought. Not Miss Q's room. Who could have seen this coming? 